Watch this video if you want to see how I help my client lose over a hundred pounds in less than a year. So I'm going to show you guys the ins, the outs, the straight up details on how we were able to accomplish such a big goal in a relatively short amount of time. So if you want to know all of the details and the ins and outs, I need you to watch the video all the way through to the end. And if you find any value in this video, I need you to go ahead, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button and drop a fire emoji down in the comments so that I know y'all want to see parts two and three of this three part series. So with that being said, let's jump straight into today's video. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy JMO704. And before we start with part one of this series, man, let me give you guys a little bit of background on who I am and why you know, I may know a thing or two about this weight loss, fat loss thing, all right? So for those of you who don't know, I am a personal trainer. I've been personal training now for approximately five years. And prior to that, I had a previous career in speech pathology for the past 13 years. So I have a strong passion for helping people identifying their problems and creating a game plan and a solution for them to resolve their problems and for them to reach their goals. All right. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into part one of this series. All right. I'm super excited to bring this to y'all. So, so before we even get into the nuts and bolts as far as training, nutrition, you know, certain tools that we put in place for my client, we got to talk about mindset, all right? Because without the proper mindset, especially whenever it comes to weight loss, fat loss, especially if you're looking to lose a large amount of weight, that is going to be key. Because if you don't have the proper mindset, then you are bound to fail and not reach your weight loss or fat loss goals, all right? So the first thing we do with my client is define her why. Now I know, you know, you hear all of the personal development gurus talk about, you know, what is your why? Your why is gonna be your anchor to keep you, to keep you going. And you know, you might, you might think about that and be like, man, you know, that's some, that's some mumbo jumbo. But you know, in all actuality, you really do have to define your why and what is the reason why you want to take on such a big goal and why are you looking to do this right now you know is this for vanity reasons is this to you know have an overall healthier lifestyle is this to you know be around for your kids so the first thing that we had to do was define her why especially on those days when you're not going to feel motivated the days when it's going to be hardest to exercise or to you know eat something at the house when you would rather go to the drive through so the biggest why for her are her kids you know she's a mother of four all of her kids have individual needs and they're all highly active so for her you know she was at a point to where she didn't necessarily want her weight to be a hindrance in anything that she wanted to do with her kids whether that was you know playing around in the front yard or you know if the fair is in town you know being able to ride a roller coaster without her weight being a deciding factor on if she's able to get on a ride or not then on top of that you know she's uh she's in her 30s now when she wants to you know have more energy with the type of work that she does you know she can work 10 to 12 hours at times then on top of that you know having to raise four kids and having to really cater to each and every child's individual needs and then on top of that you know just wanting to have more more energy having more energy is going to allow her to not only you know perform better at her job but then also be able to carry that over into raising her kids now that we have her why defined and laid out let's talk about the next two mindset hacks that really helped her lose those first 100 pounds patience 
you know, if you if you've been following my channel for a minute or if you are brand new to the channel, one thing that I say at the end of all of my videos is patience, consistency, and most importantly, it don't happen overnight. And you know, patience is going to be key whenever it comes to you know achieving such a goal as losing a hundred pounds. And you know, when I heard something, uh, I heard something really profound about you know, the power of patience and actually, you know, what is patience exactly? You know, and patience, how I heard it was doing the daily steps, doing those key things each and every day while you're on your way to your goal. So, and in that, you know, are you willing to be patient with yourself? You know, are you willing to be patient with your, your body? You know, whenever you are uh, taking on such a huge goal, whether that's, and it doesn't even have to be losing a hundred pounds, but even losing those first 20 pounds, if you've been living a lifestyle where you're used to being more sedentary, you know, laying on the couch, not really being active, you know, are you going to be patient with your body as it's getting adjusted to his new lifestyle? Are you going to be uh, patient whenever you run across those weight loss plateaus, you know, whenever your weight is stuck at a certain set point and you just don't know how to get past it. Are you going to allow your body to, are you going to be patient enough, enough with yourself to allow your body to, you know, push past this plateau or are you going to give in to, you know, your previous lifestyle vices, whether that's, you know, not choosing to work out and just, sit on the couch and watch Netflix and, and be chilling? Are you going to go to your kitchen and actually eat the food that you went out and spent your hard earned money on? Or are you going to take your ass? Yeah. Are you going to take your ass to the drive through and again, go back to those old habits? I believe that with the, the times that we live in where everything is just so instant, uh, you know, we, we have these devices in our hands that, you know, we can, we can order things that at the snap of a finger, you know, we live in a society where everything is all about instant gratification. You know, there is no sense of delay gratification. And that's the same thing with your weight loss. You, you did know. not gain those pounds overnight. So it is unrealistic for you to think that you are going to lose that weight overnight as well. So, you know, you have to be patient with yourself, you know, through this whole entire process from beginning to end. So even whenever she was losing a lot of weight and it got to the point to where, you know, the, the more weight she lost, the slower her weight loss came. And instead of, you know, giving up and not pushing through, you know, one of the one of the things that I had to do to encourage her was, hey, you know, you are losing weight. You are losing weight a little bit slower now, but you are still headed in the right direction. So, you know, we got to stay on track and keep doing the things that you've been doing. The right. third mindset hack that helped my client lose her first 100 pounds is consistency. Consistency, consistency, consistency. What what does that even mean? You know, to be consistent. You know, we we hear this all the time. No matter what goal it is that you're trying to achieve or get to, you know, consistency. You no, know, it's one thing to be able to, you know, eat right, you know, manage your stress, uh, train consistently, and do that. You know, one day, two days, but it's it's a whole nother animal whenever you do that for for weeks for months on end consistently enough to turn this into more of a lifestyle versus just doing something for for the time being all right and for my client you know she was extremely consistent and y'all are gonna see here on these next couple of videos in terms of how consistent she was with the plan that we laid out for her in order for her to reach her fitness goals and even go beyond that all right so for her consistency meant making those adjustments to to her schedule you know like i told y'all she's a mother of four and she works extremely long hours at times so you know she had to 
you know, make this a priority and actually, you know, schedule that time to work out and be consistent with it, you know, day in, day out. Um, that also meant not making any excuses, you know, because I know a lot of people that I've talked to work with, you know, um, and just people in general, you know, they can make excuses whenever it comes to why they're not reaching their fitness goals. But for her, you know, she definitely made the time to be consistent in terms of her training and in working out. And let's face it, you know, there are going to be times where you're going to travel, you're going to want to hang out with friends, you're going to want to do those things. And for me as a, as a trainer, you know, I'm realistic with people, you know, I do know that, you know, you're going to want to hang out, you're going to want to go on vacation and things of that nature. But, you know, can you still remain consistent and find ways to be consistent when you're out of town? Are there ways to where, you know, you can still manage to eat right, um, make certain adjustments here and there, you know, and still exercise. So that way, whenever you do come back to you know, your regular life, your regular routine, that either A, you're still at the same point before you left, before you went on vacation, or you, know, you might even made more progress while you were out of town and even getting you in a better position for whenever you do come back. So she did an excellent job of remaining consistent when she's out of town, making sure that she's still, you know, finding some way to exercise, even if it's for 30 minutes, finding a way to, you know, increase her overall activity while she's out of town. You know, she did a phenomenal job with just remaining consistent. All right. So those are the three mindset hacks that we use to help my client lose her first 100 pounds. So if you made it to the end of this video, I need y'all to go ahead, do me a favor. First off, like the video. When if you like the video, that spreads it out to more people that can also gain some value from the information that was presented in this video. Two, subscribe to the channel. Right now, I'm at 27, almost 2,800 subscribers. And my first goal, one of my first goals is to, one, get to 3,000. But by the end of the year, I want to be at 10,000 subscribers. All right, and if you found any value in this video, you know, make sure you go ahead, drop a fire emoji down in the comments. So that lets me know that y'all guys wanna see parts two and three, where we will go into more detail as far as, you know, the things that she did do on a day-to-day -day basis in order for her to reach her goals, man. So with that being said, if there's anything that you ever wanna do in life, remember that it requires patience, consistency, and most importantly, it don't happen overnight. See y'all on the next video. Peace. All right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah. Okay. Watch this video if you want to know how I. Yeah. All right, so watch this video if you want to see how I show. So watch everything from mindset to the one tool. No. Hey, I, I, I practice this out. Okay, all right. Let's see. Here we go.